I'm so tired. I have no idea what music to listen to. I really, really ran out of ideas. Uh, ideas. <clears throat> <clears throat> mm, let's try this one. Hopefully, this is good. Here's the image. sure what to do with the colors. Uh, I tried to do as much as I could to get the actual colors from real life. Pretty much failed a little bit. see for how long I can uh, go. I wish you could be here just so you can see the difference between what you're seeing on your screen and what I see in real life. The colors are we weirdly more warm on my screen. And I know... Hey Axe! It's good to see you. I'm sorry for being late, but I had to finish a commission. I also need some money to be able to continue doing this. So... And I ate something very fast since I didn't eat until 20 minutes ago. But anyways, the colors are like me. Hey, Raisa. So I had a deal with my boyfriend. When he comes home, he's gonna take care of Misha so I can just paint until like eight o'clock. So today I just wanna get into this one, paint as much as I can so I can let it rest, kind of done, and then get into the body and into the other horse as well. Hey, what brush do I want to work with? Other than that, how are you guys? How was work? How's life? Seriously, when I paint and stuff like that, when, let's say that now that you're home, presumably you're home. Are you gonna draw? I know that Axe is drawing when he's home and on my stream. Okay, let's see. I hope my head is not gonna get in. Ah, just a little bit. So right now we're going to paint, I'm zoom in, we're going to paint on this side a little bit, on the eye. You're still at work I guess, Eliza. Oh, it's dry. No. No, it's fully dry. expected to dry this fast. Last time it wasn't like this. I know I used popular but hmm. oh well it's fine. Let's see if we take away this one. We get a little bit of light. I'm just getting glare. Oh well it's fine. I don't know, I, I, I feel like this stream is going pretty well. I will see for how long I will really do this, because it is quite hard. I feel like I don't have the right materials to really show you guys what I'm doing. Anyways, let's try 
paint. I wonder what brush I should use if I want to finish this here. Let's see how dry this is. Can I put my hand here? Oh my lord, it's really dry. Great. And great. Not really. That's what I was fearing that it will dry too much. Okay, let's keep it loose. Don't get too close to your painting pal. You want to have this loose. I have the tendency of overmodeling things and I really want this painting to be not so overmodeled. dark yesterday which was quite my intention so now I can brighten it up and still have some of that under layer shining through it's more warm tones so now I'm using more of my colors which is the purple my god this canvas is so good so freaking expensive yet so good that's one reason I couldn't work anymore on the other one, the one with the eagle. It's after I try this canvas, I just don't want to go back to it. stage where you feel like a little bit unsure of yourself and that's the stage I'm at I'm hoping I'm not gonna fuck this one up Sorry. because I want like for example let's see. yeah you guys won't see the colors this is uh, I'm not sure what it is because the lens is pretty good but We'll see, I will look more into it and see if I can find a way to do this. Add the white colors. things in Photoshop for this client. I'm not sure how I will have time for everything. It's always time. We never have time. If we never have time, the older we get, the less time we have. In my case anyway. Some people might be more lucky than I am. But I know people that really has no time and they're amazing artists. I'm more spoiled. I have more time than they do. And I complain more. <laughs> so it's not very nice. But I think I'm allowed to complain sometimes. You know? It's human. Look at those brush strokes. This canvas is just amazing. I, I just wish you guys can just teleport. I 
can't even look at my screen just because of it. Right now is a lot of dry brushing. So basically everything is wet and I just go on top with a brush and gently dry brush. And I can do that a lot when I have this type of crystal brushes. Just here for you guys, I guess. It was so sweet with uh, Axe when you wrote to me that you hoped that I will come online. When I saw that I went over the time that I said that I will do the commissions of, I felt so guilty for not being online. So ridiculous. guys really make me think and you guys is like Ryza, uh, Akse, I have some other people but they can't really be on but it's nice I'm glad can you guys see what I'm working on? I <laughs> horrible you guys don't even see the colors I'm using. Jesus Christ. Oh well. Everything is like so gray on the screen somehow. The contrast, those are not pure blacks, so are more towards like this one here. But you guys are seeing it as black. It's actually pinkish, reddish tone. So whatever. It's frustrating. accent over there. It's not much left to this horse. It's mostly in the at the mouth I need to work, to be honest. you mean I think I spend more time thinking rather than working it's, it's because everything I do now has to be more than I used to do so I always end up overthinking things and not doing too much work which kills me I, I need to work more and talk less
wonder who that person twin twin tower power on Twitch is. He was there yesterday as well. I noticed I post on my Instagram as my news feed that I will be late and then I noticed that Instagram didn't update that feed somehow it doesn't work very well for me so I had to work a little bit on my stuff I had to go to the print shop today so I didn't have time to do it so deeply sorry for being so late I hate those colors. God, I hate those colors. Just one second. I, I can't work like this. The colors are just horrible, horrible, horrible. Unbelievable, horrible. It wasn't like this yesterday. I don't recall it being this bad. can see that I'm changing a lot. actually thinking about you because I didn't know exactly how to to reach you because I knew that you always check on me before you head off to bed and I was really sick I, I couldn't do it so I started this live stream yesterday and now I'm just trying to figure out how to make the colors work come on you can do it mr. camera now I think this is the best I can get Ah, seriously, why can't I get that color? <clears throat> I, I feel much better. I think I had the weird flu. I think I got it when I went out in town because everybody was like <coughs> coughing. And, um,. Yeah, I could barely speak. I was having like a very rough voice in the morning. It was really horrible. So now I'm back trying to paint. And I started painting on this amazing canvas. Super expensive canvas, this one that I have. I mean, I think for one meter of canvas, it can be around... What was it? 120 bucks? So it's really expensive. How are you? Are things good? I heard that it's snowing there quite a lot. You guys didn't even see that. Oh my god. Yeah, one meter. So let's say kind of like double this that I'm working on. Yeah, it can go up to like $100, $120. 
it's very expensive. But it's it's really good. I think this is the best can canvas I've ever worked on. And I've worked on really, really crappy canvas when I was a student, because I... Yes. So... I said that I will only work on this canvas if I do something nice and beautiful. So yeah. This is the one I've chosen. You painted last week. Wait, with oils or with watercolors? I know we talked about the watercolor stuff, so I'm wondering. I know what I need to do. When I start to paint on this canvas, I should really try to do a la prima when I start the painting so I can actually do this effect because I really want this painterly effect. I want to see those, those brush strokes on my canvas. So I think right now this looks great and I, I it sounds a little bit weird, but I really love this and I will zoom in so you guys can see what I mean. I love this effect and I've seen it in like painters like Zorn. Just try oils. Like buy, um, for example, um, red, umber, black and white. Just those ones. You don't, don't even use black, just use raw umber and white and paint with oils. Don't try to color, just draw. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys this part. Let's see if I can. There. Do you see this here? The little red spot? That's canvas. That's that's what I call transparency and I'm very obsessed over having this effect on my canvas. And right now when you get close, it's very abstract, but when you back up, I really want the definition of the mouth of, of the mouth of this shapes here to pop through so i'm playing a lot with colors but i'm hoping i can get that juicy effect in there and i love these brushes these brushes are just great it's it's not too soft not too hard so i can get this interesting um roughness details to my painting and this is the effect I always wanted on my canvas, but I noticed when I was painting the eagle girl, I couldn't get it because it has to do with the canvas as well. So it's, it's really nice to have good canvas. Daniel! Hey, Daniel! But by the way, before I go back to Daniel, GC, really, red umber, white, and a piece of canvas. That's all you need. 
Don't think about color and just draw and think about values rather than color. If you want to think about value, add a value about color, add black. So let's say that black is going to be your cool colors and red umber can be the warmth color so you can bring things forward and push things back. If I was you, I would, I will, I would start, whew, I would start with that. Uh, I usually suggest that to people that are, whatever, afraid of colors. Gently softening. GC, before you go to bed, let me know because I want to show you the whole painting. I really want you to see it. And finger painting? Well, known toxic paints, please. What would draw as practice? Still lifes. Very, very simplified still life. And I can show you if you want to practice drawing. I'm gonna show you on the screen. So if you look at the screen, I'm gonna load the picture. Not this one. Even a cube. When I was teaching at the school, I was asking students to just draw the most simplest forms ever, put them underneath a light, and try to get that nice, soft uh, effect, if they could. And it's very hard to get motivated by something so simple, but trust me, it's such a good practice. Let me see, streaming, OBS images. see the image ah, let's just add it like this I'm so sorry if, uh, in, if this is taking a little bit too much of, of your time what image image okay what else this one there you go this if you can draw this kind of stuff GC and look how simple this is it's just uh, I think uh, we make sarmale in that one they flow, yes, on Twitch. Yes, I'm streaming also on YouTube. There are people that prefer this and that. So if you want, you're welcome to come on my YouTube. If not, I will answer as I did before. But GC, this. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, Daniel, thank you, David. Oh, now I have two D number, uh, D letters names now. Daniel and David. And it's funny because Daniel Kane and David Kovacic, I don't know if you pronounce that correctly, so it's kind of funny. Okay, I'm gonna go back to painting. Or I can show you one more. Let's see if I have the most simplest thing possible. This one's, I think that these are just purely great. Look at that, look how simple the kitty cats are. And this is masterful, you know, this kind of stuff, this kind of simple things are so hard to, uh, um, what's the word for it? Control? Yeah, yeah, I mean, if you paint with oils uh, and you choose this palette that I told you about, I don't want you to think about color, I just want you to draw with oil. Like, really draw with oil. Because that's sometimes what scares us the most is the medium, but in the end it, it, it all resumes down to uh, painting. For example, this is a painting I did when I was a student. These are like old stuff that I usually show people just so they can get motivated. Because I was never this high level when I started with art. I, I was actually the weakest at the point in my class. Look at this. This is me when I was a student. 
And this is me ignoring the importance of drawing and trying to be, you know, like, oh, I want to paint and feel like I'm an artist. And I lost a lot because of it. Do I have more? This is me drawing Ilya Repin. This is just charcoal and chalk on tone paper. So it was just me studying after old masters. And I've done a bunch of these ones. I really suggest you guys do the same. Like when I'm painting with you guys on live stream, just pick up a master, master study, uh, draw on it, and if you want, just send it over to me and we can uh, look at the reference you guys been using and your drawing and maybe I can give you some tips. Oh, I was so cocky as a student. You don't want to meet me. You wouldn't, you wouldn't want to meet me up when I was a student. I was such a crybaby. I think now I'm more mature and more rational. I think it's good that I went to a psychologist because if I become a teacher again, I will know how to help my students because sometimes it's, it's not even the talent. It's just the mind that keeps people from doing things. And it's so devastating to see such talented students not being able to do their student work because, you know, there's stress, anxiety and all of that shit. Which is basically called life. But sometimes we are a little bit too sheltered from the world and when we kind of get into the real life, if I can say real life, some people really has hard times adapting to it, and that was my situation. It was really hard for me to get used to being an adult. Okay, let's, I think I'm just gonna use this brush. I'm just gonna continue painting until we reach the nose of the horse. Uh, hmm, maybe I can take the keyboard from here and put my palette. There you go, that's better. Oh, Mexico! Saludos! We say salut, but anyways. Yeah, GC. Uh, I know that you usually work during the night. And I would love... I was telling Hendrik at the point that I would love to stream somehow when it's... When more people in USA are awake. Because I have so many people that has different time zones. So that would be super fun if I manage... Show how to do that. Sorry, I have my brush in my mouth. Okay, let's continue this way. So right now I'm gonna work here. Uh, let's zoom out a little bit. Whoa! Don't fall down, camera. You're too bloody expensive. Please. Oh. Whew. Oh, that was stressful. No. Stupid camera, what the hell are you doing? You need to stand still. One second, my camera is falling down. What the hell is wrong with you? <sighs> yeah, just let me know. I mean, I'm doing this stream for... To be honest, at the point I was really thinking about stopping, but I have some people on Discord like Axe, and he's like asking me about streams and stuff, because he draws while I stream. And I know that you're gonna head to bed. Uh, sorry, that is not dark. So when you guys will see these darks, they're not pure black. It's, it's saturated. I just don't know what to do to take that away. Maybe I need to do some filters. Oh wait, I said that I will show you the painting. Just fix the camera. Oh well. There's some new people on the stream. So basically this is what we're working on. Voila. There's my reference over there. And I'm also trying to look at my little digital work and also painting of this artist that I really like. So I'm trying to be very expressive and somehow so far I really am enjoying what I did. And this is huge, I mean, <laughs> this is my hand, just so you can get an idea of how 
big the painting is. And you know, it's, it's, it sounds silly, but it's easier to paint big than small. When you paint small, it's more demanding. Now I'm gonna try to fix the values onto this. Now you can go to bed, GC. Darks are a little bit less darkish now, but we have too much contrast. Some vapichuare lineale treba. Filter, let's see. Color key, color correction, chroma key. Contrast. Brightness. Gamma. Is it gamma? Can be gamma. No, I, I'm getting some glitch because of that. Yeah, I remember trying to use this one. Thank you, GC. Now head off to bed. I will just leave it like this. People will uh, have to deal with that black. Good night, GC. See you next time. Tomorrow I will not be able to stream, I will be busy, but the day after tomorrow I will be streaming again. I did lower it, Daniel, and I think it's a little bit better. See you! Not tomorrow, the day after tomorrow. Okay, so, since he went to bed, let's paint this small little detail here. Is the music okay for you guys? Is it too low or should I higher it up? Because I'm gonna get a little bit uh, silent. This part here, I really wanted to have it really cool made because there's a lot of interesting muscles that I would like to see in there. <laughs> see you the day after tomorrow. Okay, I'm gonna ignore you guys a little bit.
adding paint and then basically mixing on the canvas again to get smoother transitions since we're working with very dry paint right now. I want to keep it simple, I don't want to go too deep in. I'm trying my best not to go crazy with the details here. I still need correct information, so it's not like don't draw details. softening some areas. Not to add a little bit. To not have it too sharp and just have a little bit of softness here and there. And for example he's quite powerful. So I want to get that feeling. to reach this part here because once this one is done I can go into the neck of the lower horse
you can soften it. It was very sharp. But that's the thing when oil dries out. Uh, when they, um, yeah, when they uh, dry, they tend to. You have to like re-add paint uh, again to be able to fix uh, whatever you need to fix. Which wrote? I'm very focused right now. I do check from time to time, but sometimes I get silent. But I kind of talk to myself to keep you guys, you know, like in the moment of what's happening in my head. video got banned because I uh, played the uh, copyrighted music. I kind of don't care anymore because when I paint, I bought, which I wish I'd never pay the money for, this kind of site that plays non-copyright music because I wanted to give you guys something to listen to if I just shut up. But I kind of don't find particular music that I like. So I got banned. I will take all the videos, if this one gets banned for example, I will take the video and do a speed painting of it because I don't think people will go like, oh she had the live stream for like 4 hours, best to watch it all. I doubt people will do that, so I just do this fast little videos. Napalma Grand Nate on Twitch. It's not a la prima. And the way you guys are seeing the colors is just horrible. I don't know. I think the camera keeps resetting itself. Yesterday I did a la prima. Now it's like painting uh, over what I did yesterday. It feels like the camera keeps resetting itself. One second, guys. I'm gonna <sighs> check why the camera is resetting itself. funny because on my camera screen it does look really really good maybe my screen is not calibrated and I know it's not calibrated I'm just gonna go with the flow and hope that you guys are not seeing the screen I'm seeing because it's disgusting it's so bad it feels like a turd when I look at my screen Really? You guys really watch the streams afterwards? Because if that's the case, I will make sure I don't play 
bad, well, bad, you know, bandy music, bandy music, non, you know, copyright music, and just play this music, because I noticed that this is kind of okay, I kind of wrote non-copy music, relaxing to listen to, so I guess this one works pretty well. Let's put some light onto this. I love, usually horses, they have these beautiful two ma muscles over here. So this side here will be darker and then this is gonna be brighter. So let's see what colors we can use to make that. I need water. Just one second. Too much coffee. What I'm doing right now, I'm like marking a little bit my muscles, well my muscles, the horse's muscles. So it looks very rough, but I'm gonna re-add paint to mix on the canvas. That's one reason I kinda like a la prima. You can blend a lot and get smoother transitions, but sometimes a second layer can do wonders. So I really felt like doing that. I do have a surprise for uh, some of the people that has been following me on stream. I just need to have the time to and the energy to go and uh, I'll, I'll go in town and get some stuff. That's a cute smiley face, but I, I feel like I want to do that. I got this commission and I think I will be able to do it. I have enough to w go with it. <laughs> I, I feel that somehow since I started this live stream, it gave me so much energy to paint 
so I feel like really grateful for it. I, I don't know if you guys believe me or not, but I, I'm really speaking the truth. It was, I think if I didn't start this live stream, I would never paint this right now. So this is great. So I felt like I wanted to give something in return. <clears throat> Yeah, I uh, draw, I also paint, uh, I also have like commissions on the side. Uh, I used to have a day job like walking dogs, but I can't do that anymore. Um, the way I sketch and draw, I mainly do it in Photoshop. I used to have more patience before, but now I'm very impatient and in Photoshop, Photoshop right now feels like it's the only program where I can actually uh, <coughs> put some effort into studying. It's like really bad Photoshop fo uh, folder where I just let loose of my hatred on it. And uh, I like to experiment, like I was doing some, um, how do you call it in English, some ink two days ago. Before I started this one. Daniel Kane, thank you. Like I said, same for me. <laughs> it's great. I love it. I, I think in the relationship to Hendrik, I think I'm one of those people that likes the company of others. I don't know how that dude sometimes can just be alone. He's basically a loner. But uh, I love the company of people. It gives me a lot of energy. Sometimes I'm just a little bit tired But even now at the beginning when I started the live stream, I was so shy But I'm getting more used to it. I I, I, I Know people are watching and at the beginning. I was so afraid that I might fuck up and make a laugh of myself But I was very lucky with the people uh, I didn't get trolls and even if I got trolls somehow they were quite nice people <laughs> they weren't trying to be mean they were just joking in their own uh, trolly way trolly way that sounded kind of cute okay we're going towards the mouth now I really like the way this one turned around I used Viridian oh yeah the palette I'm using so it's titanium white, non-toxic yellow, uh, Chinese red, Viridian, which I love, ultramarine blue, alizarin crimson, transparent red oxide, and ivory black that I barely even touched. But it's it's there just in case. small detail and then I'm gonna go into this part but, but you see it's like before this was very simplified so I try to exaggerate and add some muscles in there but I still want to have it simple it's such a nice color and transparent red oxide it's also very good for skin tones like let me let me do it now because I remember I painted this painting and I found the most perfect skin tone that I like to add on my uh, paintings. So titanium white, viridian. Let's see if it. Let's see if it's this one. Yeah. So the skin tone. 
So this one here. It's more towards the green. Because for example, our skin is not pure red. So this one, and then you add, how do you call it, uh, Chinese red. So you get this nice, I don't know if you can see the difference between, yeah, you can see a little bit. It's more towards the green and more towards the red. So you have a good control over the skin tones, because if you look at your skin, again, it's yellow ochre, greenish, a bit pink, and so on and so forth. So try it out. Ultramarine blue, and what I use to make my blacks is ultramarine blue and alizarin crimson. I can show you, you get really nice, rich darks. And that's basically what I've sketched with. Like, for example, what you see here is alizarin crimson and uh, uh, ultramarine blue. Burnt umber? Burnt umber is... Burnt umber, burnt umber. That's another one. It's a bit too brownish, dark for me. I used to use it a lot, but I kind of stopped using it because I want colors. I use raw umber though, because raw umber has a little bit, most if you get the one that's a little bit warmer, it has more of a greenier tone towards it, which is really nice to use in your paintings. So for example, if I use, this is, Lizard Crimson and then Ultramarine Blue. Look how nice and dark it goes. And when you paint, and let's say that you want to brighten things up, if you would do that with black, let's just do it. For example, I'm brightening it up. You see it gets quite pinkish. If you want it a little bit, you can add more blue. Again, this is my palette. You have to control this. And this is very good if you have issues desaturating your colors. This is very good to use. Because, for example, if you use black, I think this is black, or is this... What color is this? I think it's black. And then people tend to add white to brighten it up. And then they get this. If you just want to use black, you can just add some alizarin crimson as well just to keep a little bit the saturation under control, if you want to go with the black. You can use burnt umber. I usually don't use burnt umber. I used to. So what I use is alizarin crimson. Alizarin crimson plus ultramarine blue, you get a very nice black. So burnt umber and ultra marine blue, you can get, like you said, this nice uh, neutral black. You have no idea how much paint I've wasted just trying out colors. I still have like tubes of paints that I don't use anymore up in the attic. Not good brands, but that's the only way to learn. Or you can go with the traditional uh, palette that everybody goes with. Uh, you know, the academic palette that you see in most artists. The simple way. And then you're fine. I kind of like this. I'm not going to sharpen that. I'm going to leave it like that. Okay, let's go into the mouth. Let's zoom in. But this is what I like. I'm gonna actually add even more white. Let's see if we can do that. Because I want that to come forward. <coughs> Where's my... There it is. white oh my lord is this for mold of warcraft i think it is i love love this type of music Are you okay? Oh, yeah? Are you 
Daniel, I wish I can give you uh, this canvas so you can try it out. Death can dance? Is that a series? I, I, I'm very bad at watching series. I think Hendrik is pretty good at it. He actually watches TV show while working. I'm like, how the fuck can someone do that? I can listen to stupid stuff, but I don't think I can watch series because I'm so... I, I get so into it. Is it similar to this type of music? Oh, it's a group. Well, we can't listen now. If we don't want the video to go bandy band, we should uh, keep to our um, fantasy music. I sometimes cry when I listen to good music. I get so emotional. There's some songs that I can't listen to anymore. It reminds me too much of my old cat, for example, that passed away. It gets so emotional. So, yeah, I'm a cry baby. Where have you been? I was thinking about you. I was thinking when to ban you. <laughs> I was like joking about that stuff. Raisa, I think I'm gonna give it a shot with that band. I mean, you kind of know my taste in music by now. Okay, I need a little bit more to tone there. Yeah, I think this color will be nice. Let's add... Mm. No, I have another... Damn it, I just mixed the brush. Let's take another one. Not waste color. This is too thin. Yeah, Coffee Cat, I'm sorry. I'm gonna... I don't know how easily you get offended, but I usually tease people I like. So if I uh, say something stupid and it's offensive, it's because I like you. I'm a weirdo in that way, I'm sorry. I am uh, I think I'm one of those people that, what do you call them, lovable douche. My brother used to do that a lot to me when I was little and I was putting a dress on. I was like asking my brother, do I look nice? And he was like, oh, you look so fat and ugly. And I'm like, thank you, Ali. That was basically my brother. But I, kn I knew that he was joking with me. I mean, me and my brother, we have, uh, since uh, I grew up with a brother, we used to play Lego and games and everything. So it was super fun. I was like wondering if I go home to Romania, how the hell am I gonna live stream? Oh my god! I need to find a solution around that one. Is it better now? Cool, cool thing. 
I used to work with toxic paints and now I'm like, fuck it, I don't have toxic paints. Touch that motherfucking paint! It's really nice. Now I need to put some brights over there. Yeah, this is looking... This is looking good. I can't wait to go into the other horse. The other horse is way more simplified than how this one was. So it's gonna be interesting how I'm gonna paint that. David um, I don't think it's toxic do you uh, one second I need to check just to make sure that I'm not gonna die It's gonna be fine. <laughs> it's a little bit toxic, so eh. Coffee cat, you're gonna kill me. I haven't managed to play the game because I've been sick and very busy. Daniel Kane, if you can give me some good solvents that are not toxic, I will be very happy. I'm using this one because it's, it's basically the only one I can breed with. But no, coffee cap, I, I had no time to play and I'm glad that you have the time to do it. Sometimes it happens, you just don't have the fucking time. I do have a headache right now, I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, even though I'm touching the cameras, it's not like it's a lot. I mean, I know... Um, uh, Medrum does it as well and he's like what he's pretty old so if he's not dead yet I guess I'm not gonna be dead either hopefully I wouldn't drink it. I hope not. I don't think that's good. Oops, sorry. some bright tones here yeah that's too much ah, there you go the witcher coming up for coffee cat
I'm actually happy that uh, CD Project Red is okay with people playing their music because I haven't gotten banned yet by playing their soundtrack on YouTube. May God bless Poland. Yeah, 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 I have, I have. I told you, I think I'm in, I think I, I reached Skilling, Skillinger. For example, I had sexy time with uh, Yennefer, so I did go quite sexy time. Yes. Well, that's good. I guess I don't mind listening to the soundtrack because I really like it. it has a little bit of a Slavic touch to it. Take care. See you next time. Have a nice day. Your day is just starting. I think I might have heard it. A and it's fine, I mean, I know how the game ends because my boyfriend played it and I've watched everything while he was playing it because it was so awesome even just watching someone playing the game. Okay, I think I'm done with this part. Now let's go into this and then I can harmonize if I, if I need to. Let's zoom in on the mouth, shall we? wondering about you. Jose, right? I guess it's really early for you. I started the live stream a little bit late, so... But Coffee Cat, let's see 
What music do you so the soundtrack? Blood and wine. Let's go for it. Let's play blood and wine. Uh, where's ah? Whatever. Let's just do right click, paste, ding. Blood and wine. The Witcher free blood and wine soundtrack full. Let's hope to get. And let's hope that we will not get banned. Dink. Yeah. I've been good. I've been still sick. Like after I talked uh, with you during that night, when I woke up in the morning, I was so sick. I could barely even speak because my voice was just bad. So now it's much better. Okay guys, let's let's paint this. Let's do it. <coughs> so we are just sitting around talking about the Witcher and uh, stuff and painting, shutting up, painting some more. Yesterday, uh, I couldn't finish the second head on stream, so I finished it off stream. So now it's basically piecemealing it, like giving, uh, bringing it to a certain finish. Hair is everywhere still. I swear to God, I vacuum clean every day. Doesn't work. Keeps coming.
Yeah, I have. Well, on videos. Never on, uh, on my cat. I try to keep my cat as sanely healthy as possible and not torture my poor baby. And uh, talking about me having a cold, you guys should have seen her. She was like sneezing all the time. So she had a little bit of a cold. Poor little baby. It was kind of cute, but still. Yeah, I have a very, very good cat. She's a very good kitty. I mean, I've trained her to walk with me on a leash. She's still a, a scary cat because she's not like a dog, she's more independent. So when something really stressful happens, sometimes she just sits in my lap or even come towards me when she gets scared. But most of the time she just wants to run, so I never leave her off leash when I go outside with her. She's a very, very good cat. And she's a rescue. I found her on the streets. Oh Jesus, the hell? Aww. Well, the most Nisha actually sneezed was... Oh, I just noticed the mistake. Um, uh, four times? Trying to figure out how to solve this tiny mistake. that some people can stay with me on the stream so like kind of done Jesus Christ Australia is coming along. Popcorn! Mm -mm -mm. It was like last time, last time I actually had popcorn. What are you gonna do? You gonna watch some anime or when I get popcorn ready it's like hmm time to watch some anime.
I, I remember actually playing a Witcher game and uh, eating popcorn. Man, those were the good days when I had more time. Donovan? I've heard of it. I never have time to watch even series. I, I don't know. It's like I was saying, I don't know if you were on, but I know that uh, my boyfriend, for example, he can watch videos and movies, horror movies, most of all as well, when uh, he works. I have no idea how he does that. I'm terrified of uh, horror movies, to be honest. I, I don't think I can... I mean, I know I can watch them, but I dream very vividly. So if I want to still live and not be afraid to sleep, then I should not watch horror movies. I'm so tired of Game of Thrones. First season was so good. And I was always expecting the best out of the other ones. Like, there was one season that was just... They were trying to make it funny. I really didn't find it funny. The plots were great. I mean, the way they were building up the story, but the execution of it, I was like, what the hell are they doing? This is not a kid's show. Maybe they were trying to make it more kiddish, but... Not sure I liked it. Yeah, they're pushing it. They're making a lot of money with that show. <sighs> oh, 
I was actually thinking when I was when I was downstairs. Um, I think it was the scene with uh, Jamie and that friend of his, whatever. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil it then. It was like a little bit comic-y. I think they were in the garden and they were talking about something and it started being a little bit too much of a funny conversation that wasn't funny. I'm, I'm not sure how to explain. I don't remember what season it was actually. I think it was not the last one, but the other one. Yeah, Bron. I mean Bron. Yeah, that's the guy. We're we're talking about Game of Thrones and shit. Oh, yep. Oh, what are you saying? Yeah, he was asking. He was saying that you. I was telling them that you can watch movies while you work. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, I can't watch whatever. It oh, has okay. to be something that's kind of. Have uninteresting, <laughs> so, so you don't uh, start paying too much attention. Yes. So how was it work? It was alright. Huh? Yeah. Tomorrow. Mm. Flying. You gonna fly with yeah. a plane. I'm actually thinking uh, to take it easy tomorrow and go to Uppsala. I haven't left home in ages. Yeah, do it. Yeah, I think I need to. Because I told people that I will be streaming again, uh, not tomorrow, but the day after. Uh -huh. Hello, Hendrik from David Kovac. Kovacic. Kovacic. I don't know how to pronounce David? it. David? Yeah. Hello, not David. Yeah, Daniel left. Daniel from the uh. You have to go. Yeah. Well, I know Copycat, I know that Braun was very comic -y all the time, but it was that specific episode that got me a little bit like meh. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the season and stuff like that, but I don't think they can redo what they did with the first season. It was just too bloody good. Game of Thrones got super uninteresting, if you ask me. I know. Yeah. Well, I still think it was interesting, but... It was, in the beginning. The first few seasons were amazing. What are you doing at the entrance? Come on. I feel like I was gonna take Misha out. Oh, yeah! Well, she's not asking it, so just come in for a while. Oh, yeah, I had a very late uh, lunch. What well, lunch? I ate some sandwiches. Uh, before I started the stream, so that's like two hours ago. Copycat, show me the pictures. What? What do you say, Henry? Well, not for a while. I will get hungry. I didn't eat that much. I'm actually super exhausted because it was fun doing the commission, but I had to like really change the way I think, which was a lot of uh, energy draining, but it wasn't that. Like, oh my god, the hardest thing. I mean, I showed you. I know. I think if you didn't show me, it would have been really hard. See, I'm trying not to overmodel it. Yeah, you're also working on a part that's not being picked up by the camera. Oh, yeah, oops. 
Oh, well. So maybe you should zoom out a bit. Well, I was working here. Yeah, but... I just need to take a break. Cherry. Kovacic. 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 What? Does he... Come here, Hendrik. No, Does he like the... Shoot, ch- what? Kov- Kovacic. Kovacic. No, it's people talking about Game of Thrones. I will let them chat a little bit with each other. Yeah. Just need to crash a little bit on the floor and crack my back. Oh, my legs. Oh, oh my back cracked. Holy fuck, that was You cool. also have like uh, magenta paint on your uh, on your clothes. So if well, someone came in now, it would look like I killed you. <laughs> <laughs> I have an abusive boyfriend called the feminists. Yeah. No, it's just oil. My God. Who are you gonna call? Henrik, how the fuck? 2016 Ghostbusters. Seriously, how the fuck do you draw all the time? How the fuck do you do it? I don't know. I don't know, Tim. I mean, you work at work, then you come home, and then you draw to like 2 a.m. in the night. How the fuck do you do that? Yeah. I'm like well, already not every, mentally not every, no. dead. Yeah, but mostly all the time. <laughs> mostly. He do it all the time. Mostly. Oh my god, and people think that I'm good and stuff. You are good and stuff. Yeah, but in comparison to you, you're no. fucking insane. No. You, do, you just we, don't we market do yourself. You do completely different stuff here. Uh, well, you make I one. I can't paint like that. That's amazing. Like, insane to me. I know, it's nice, but it's a luxurious part. Misha, are <laughs> you sneezing? She's sneezing again? Yeah. She's still a bit sick. No. Oh, this is so good. I just, I just want to die on the floor right now and not get up anymore. Yeah. No, they're still talking about Game of Thrones. It's just three people. It's basically David, Copycat, and Ryza. That's talking. Yeah, that's nice. I like Khaleesi the most. stop and just paint after we yeah 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 hold your horses hold your horses no pun intended intended, yeah winter's coming the horses of the abyss the winter winter. everything everything you hold dear it's gonna die you got to the job no i don't know i'm trying to you know be noble Fuck the king. Guys, whoever is on Twitch or YouTube, I think I'm gonna paint off the live stream because I can't do it anymore right now. I'm just mentally exhausted. I need to... I'm thinking of just crashing in bed and sleep for a while since I didn't sleep well last night. I woke up so cranky after I fed my cat. Uh, my cat was like, meow. Oh, you were cranky. Before, yeah. I was cranky. I know, you were like... Uh... Re- reason arguing with Misha. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I was it's arguing with my cat. My cat was like, yeah, wanting to go out. And I'm like, no, Misha, I just woke up. Yeah. You have to wait. <laughs> no, Misha, wait. Uh, 
Yeah, coffee cat. Maybe next time I might ban you. I don't know. I still need to know for sure if you're trustworthy to be on my live stream. Yes, he's a dangerous one. Why? Uh, I will tell you, not now. Uh, he needs to be secret, he needs to never know. Uh, Ryza, Axel, Coffee Cat, David, whoever is on, I will see you guys later on. I will add you to a band. I will not ban you. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just very tired, my brain is fried. Yeah. Okay guys. Take good care of yourselves, and I will see you not tomorrow the day after. I think tomorrow I need to escape this uh, apartment, otherwise I will become mentally unstable and uh, kill someone. Uh, yeah, you should rest as well, Reza. FBI. What? She's joking, FBI. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm joking, of course, yeah. Jesus. But take good care of your, uh, take good care of you guys, and uh, see you soon, and have a nice uh, dinner, and yada 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 yada. Yeah. Ciao.